Azorius control versus Luco. Unfortunately, I can't keep that. This one is not great either, but I'll go. I'll go with it. Just an island is fine, right? Yeah. That was a pretty good draw. Assemble the team. Alright. The opponent seems to be show and tell. Go for the archive here. I don't need another land. That's the turn. This can also destroy enchantments, which is good. Next turn I can put the Lorien back on top, but I will just not. Um, yeah, why not? It's another land. It's basically ensuring a land drop, right? The opponent might try something next turn. <clears throat> Brainstorm. Will the opponent go for the show and tell? I don't think so. End of turn, I will go. We must protect the people. All right, I can do this for free, basically. Break a counter and start attacking. Show them how we greet our enemies. There's a ritual, sure. What's gonna come up next? Into a Lorien. Okay. With two mana up. Do I wanna waste my counter spell on this? I don't. That's good. Alright, create another samurai and pass the turn, Guards, keeping up two counter spells. Me. 
do I have in my sideboard? Not that much. Deafening side. <clears throat> Alright, there's the show and tell. Just come. And the opponent puts it back on top. And plays it again. Now I desperately need to draw another counter spell. Well, that's a little too late. Let's put the Archmage Charm back on top. Attack. Remember your training. Now I have to try to uh, use the Get Lost to. Uh, Oh god, um, okay, let's do this first. This will come into play, but in response I will kill it. But the opponent will gra get a full a new hand, so it's still a bit huge problem here. Opponent gains 7 life and is back at a full hand and I'm empty basically. Why am I not seeing two of those cards? Oh, they were in the hand before. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, so the opponent doesn't necessarily have a show and tell, or maybe he does. He's pushing that, that's fine. Alright, whenever that thing attacks, draw cards. Let's just start putting counters on that. Strike fast and strike hard. What? Discard a card, hexproof, and okay. Three, no, two show and tells in the graveyard. It's all uh, this Archmage Charm is the only protection I have left. I'm surprised that wasn't a mystic sanctuary. A tutor. Still alive, which is surprising. Let's continue giving this thing counters. Attack to draw a card. Show them how we greet our enemies. That's basically useless by now, unfortunately. Okay, I just need to survive one more turn and then the Dream Trawler will be able to take it home. Alright, ah, perfect. Able to just outright... And I was, I just said that the Normalize is not useless anymore, but in the end it actually won the game on the spot there. Alright, um... So, deafening silence. 
That's basically it. Ashiok. Yeah, I mean, Ashiok will counteract the... Um, what's it called? Assemble the team, right? So I think it's still better than... Like, swords or get... Get loss is important. So I'm going to get rid of the swords. And there we go. Keep. A little expensive on this side, but I have two things that can prevent the omniscience. Keep that on top for sure. Should I just counter that? Yeah. <sighs> that was uh, pretty ugly. That was a mm, super nice two for one. Three for one even, I think. So I lost quite a bit there. Why did the opponent look like the counter spell? Probably because there's another uh, thought sees around. Alright, one counter spell as my only defense here. Yep. Try again. Alright, the opponent doesn't have the show and tell at least. Now I shall surveil. Ah, uh, no, I shall not. I only have one surveil land in the deck. Might need to increase that. Has the turn. I can dig through time, I can memory deluge. I'll manatize that. At least if the opponent pays one more, the opponent will not be able to. Um, <laughs> This is pretty tough. Tough game for sure. Two Veil of Summers are definitely hard to deal with. But still the opponent's cards in hand is pretty low for some reason. I'm not sure why. Alright, taking the Deluge. Okay. And now I can do the following. Seven cards here. Get a Sanctuary. Put a counter spell on top. And play a dick for time. One, two, three, four, five. Counter spell and counter spell. Yep. Yeah. 
and pass the turn. Yep, that dig through time was pretty important. Ah, uh, I don't want the opponent to draw three, to be honest. So the opponent actually had two veils and two thought seasons which were protected by two veils of summer. <clears throat> I would have thought that that would be a sure loss for me. But somehow it wasn't. Turn, I will not play anything. Do I want to shock here? Yeah. The Sphinx's revelation can now be played for three. It will give the opponent opponent the opportunity to born with the wind into show and tell, but that would require five mana or a dark ritual. Four lands plus two from the dark ritual, that's six. So that would be a possibility. So I don't really want to tap out fully. I think I kind of have to. I think I have to. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the risk. Okay, the opponent conceded by now anyway. Alright, so taking a victory against show and tell. Um, good start to my to my favorite deck. This is um, this deck is my full own creation, I would say. Um, or it is. I just created this one by myself. And I do enjoy playing it a lot, even though I play a lot of decks. But this one, um, what I love about this deck is the Mana Tide, really. I love this card. Um, it's nice to have a um, turn one counter spell that counters everything. It's the only, the only, it's one of a kind in the format, I would say, in Magic generally. We used to have Force Spike in like seventh edition or something um but then that never really came back and now it's a white card uh, which is funny but yeah um all right let's uh, go on to the next match then
Azorius Control versus Mr. Bobs. Mr. Bobs. I would like to begin. This is unfortunately not keepable. This one is also pretty bad, but I think I'm gonna have to try it at this stage. <sighs> gonna put the Teferi back. I have a surveil land which gives me an extra peak. Uh, the opponent will most likely not be able to play anything with that, so that's good. So, let's grab the archive. And there's a land which we will keep on top. Perfect. I do need an another one though. So I need to dish, need to keep. I'm coming at least two more. Uh, let's just counter that. Why? Just because this is, uh, you know, mana tithe is only useful for so long. Nah, that's unfortunate. So one land is keeping me from uh... Yes, it's not the ideal land, but at least it's something Next turn I can Have counters up again counter or draw now the opponent is playing some kind of mo colorless deck Soul of New Phyrexia. Con Sacrifice three lands named Phyrexian Scrapyard. Okay. Not sure what to expect here, but I think having an Archmage Charm up next turn is gonna be important. Ah, and it can just copy itself. Three lands, conjure card name. Non artifact spells cost that much more to. Okay. Good things. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, let's sort of plow shit. Turn. Um, what are we gonna do against this um, Soul of New Phyrexia? And on the battlefield, it's a 6-6. Six, six. I can bounce it. Yeah, I'll have to bounce it, right? But it's going to be instant. So I'm going to get it hit. But okay, for now, just going to have to keep going and see. I can bounce it. Urza's construction drone. Urza's mine power plant and all of that stuff. Okay. Should I just counter that too? I think so, right? Yeah. All right, another mind stone. Turn the archway from grabber to hand. I'm still a little low on lands here. I don't think I can take the privilege of playing a Teferi. Um, Alright. Ugin the Ineffable. In ineffable. Yeah, this one I'm also gonna counter it. Graveyard to your hand. Okay. Why can you... Oh, these... Okay. So next turn... Okay. I'm still super low on lands. Just gonna have to keep countering stuff as long as I can, or use get lost to destroy things. The one ring. Okay, the opponent's gonna put something on top of the battlefield though. 
back in their hand and then I won't be able to do anything about it. Um, should I do this now? I think so, right? Because I, yeah, I won't, otherwise I just won't be doing anything. So let's do this my and just plus it for now. Trust me, I have a plan. Oh, get lost doesn't hit. Um, in a vast doesn't hit. Um, Only time Wow, this land situation is unfortunate. just keeps throwing all these weird things at me which I don't really know which one is like ah, that's probably one of the good ones but yeah another scrapyard I will not stop Oh god, now if I kill that thing, then I cannot counter this. Which... But I have to counter, I have to kill this leg right now. I'm just trying to hang in here somehow. With three lands. Now my spells cost two more. Alright, that's okay. Uh, I think I'm. I don't know how to get back from this. Soul of New Farxel will play, which is very susceptible to swords to plowshares actually, so I'm happy to draw a swords to plowshares. Yeah. Yeah, not that really, um, but let's land cycle. into Mystic Sanctuary and put a Swords on top and see if that is enough to get rid of the soul of New Phyrexia. So what, okay, so this stupid scrap yard is um, part of the Ugin too, ah, I'm not going to be able to counter Ugin either. So this thing is, don't know, I don't really know, I don't know how to play against this deck. Play this now, but then the opponent can just play an Ugin. I can't counter anything. I can't get rid of it. I can't get it. Nope. <sighs> All right. So what? How does this work? Um. I don't really think I have things. Can't cast more than one non-creature spell each turn. Is that anything useful? I don't think so. 
I think I just have to play my deck and hope for a better draw and... Just a better game here. Alright, keeping it because I have lands and the brainstorm. Turn one fountain. Uh, no, turn one hall. Hall, instant brainstorm, and then potentially I can shuffle something away if I don't want it. I don't need the Teferi yet. So I will be shuffling it away. I don't have counter magic. So I'm hoping that the opponent plays some creatures instead. Yep. Let's surveil. No, I don't need another sword. And I get lost. Alright. Um Do I need to shock? Not really. And then next turn I can deluge. perplexed because I don't have any clue how to play against this opponent's deck mind stone like what to do okay actually yeah the soul I'm actually dealing with that is actually not too crazy uh, it's just a sword so I yeah I think now that I have lands enough lands I'm pretty good uh, let's do this first so what do I want um the wandering emperor for sure and probably just a sanctuary here so kill that thing that's oh, gonna cost me two now Let's play the Anchorage. Enters, Conjured, Power Plants, etc. Okay. I'm gonna get lost that. Alright. Um, let's shock this into play past the turn. Keep Wandering Emperor ready, have this and this ready. Colorless creatures, you can forget this. Whenever you tap a permanent, add another, whenever you guess. Okay. Um, for an I, yeah, that doesn't do anything directly, so I'm actually okay. With that. We must protect the people. Odorara seems pretty okay. Alright, now I can get start to get in there. Uh, should I activate this? Yes. Let's just try and get in there. Do I want to put something on top? Like a brainstorm maybe? Just Yeah, maybe just a brainstorm. 
Or let's just put the deluge back on top. Too. It's an option too. No, I, I just the brainstorm is fine. Put a brainstorm on top, which means I can map now. Let's map this. Keep that there. And pass the turn. Keeping up, get lost. Scry, that's fine. So gain two life, that's fine. What's this? Uh, ba -ba -bum, destroy target permanent, that's one or more colors. Um, yeah. So I'm probably gonna kill the Emperor. In response, I'm killing this. Oh, actually creating a dance. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Manifest before you. That's... I didn't expect that, but... Ah! Okay, what is he going to reveal? I really need to draw a counter spell. Or a... Well, bounce. I can bounce whatever the opponent does for, for now. And this is bigger than this. And I can swords this. The opponent still has so much less so. Alright, there's that far all thing. Can the opponent just play it? No. Okay. Do again as well. So things are already starting to look pretty bland. Bleak. I definitely need to fetch some kind of counter spell here urgently. Alright, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna sword stack first. Put something in hand. Um, plus, or should I create another one? Let's create another one. Attack. Let your blade do the talking. Him kill you. There is always um, another and now, keep. Yeah, hopefully, when the opponent tries to play Ugin, I need to brainstorm into a counter spell. That's just important. That's the one. One, two, three, four. Five, six, uh, oh, wait a second. After this resolves, one, the opponent has three, not enough mana to play anything. All right, so let's try and, yeah, let's brainstorm first and see what we hit. Okay. Um, I don't need this. And let's put put it like this. All right. Let that resolve. Where does this how? Yeah. All right, let's Odawara this thing. Ah, uh, and brainstorm. Put this back, put that back. The opponent has the... Uh... Show them how we greet If I draw enemies. three, I only have two mana left to counter something. But I think this is a must. And didn't draw anything useful. So that means Ugin is going to come down. It's going to kill everything. <sighs> wow. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. Sorry guys. I'm just super perplexed here. I don't know what I should have done differently here. Like what did I need to counter? Oh, I didn't have any counters. Like this whole game I didn't have one counter spell. But what did I have to kill instead? 
Maybe I should have let that construction thing drone survive a little longer. I don't know. I'm not sure why the opponent didn't play anything there. Remember your training. Flash flying. Whenever you. Uh, uh, for the plus one, plus one counter. Sure. Okay. For now, that's okay. Oh wait, what? Why is it? A, why is that a three? What? Why is that a three for now? And what's happening? <laughs> oh my god. Um, pfft, mana tithe doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna concede here. I don't know what to do. This is, this deck is just, my mind is being completely messed by this deck. I don't know where to begin, what to counter, what's what. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just gonna take this loss and, uh. Hope to never see this pile of cards again, really. I don't know. Um, yeah. Alright, on to the next game. Azorius Control versus Be Magic. Be Magic. Be Magic. Be Magic. Um, I'll keep it. Because of the brainstorm. I'm, f I'm pretty un. Uh, it's, it's very unfortunate I can't play the tithe. Full card back. Um, yep. that survive triome do i need to be afraid of some bowmaster stuff that's the only question here i'm just going to brainstorm now okay cool um yeah just put those back that's fine i'm happy to draw a few lands because i have all the counters i need in the the only thing is the opponent will get to drop, uh, will get to resolve a two drop here. I hope it's nothing too crazy. Uh, it is pretty crazy. Okay. So I, <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's a four turn clock here. So I need to draw a swords extremely urgently here so I have already only four draws okay Alright, I have to counter that. I'm gonna have to shock here, which is gonna hurt. Oh my god. There's the uh, stubborn denial as well. I don't know what's going on. Like, really, the last few games I've played the last few days have just been. Everything's been lining up perfectly. For my opponent i'm gonna try and stall like this here um bouncing this but yeah it's just gonna prolong everything i need to draw basically a supreme verdict 
Oh wait, and yeah, okay, good thing, good news is that, uh, so Teferi is actually, yeah, pretty nice. Gained me five life here and drew a card, so that's quite, quite the, uh, decent outcome. Alright, so, um, alright, 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 is that something? I need to shock, though, so I'm gonna shock down to... Four, gain two and get it to one and yeah no I don't need to shock I can get it I can get the planes okay 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 uh, all right still a lightning bolt is gonna kill me Just underwhelming. We're gonna You're go to three, and still in bolt range, and I still need an answer for this immediately. And there's the bolt. Alright, on to game number two. Aether Gust. Yep. Um. What do I cut? What do I cut? Two tithes. Let's cut three tithes because I'm on the play. Yeah. But yes, Zoo with Stubborn Denial backup is, yeah, it's definitely, um, and they always seem to have it. But I mean, that's just how it is, you know, they always seem to have the thoughts, they always seem to have the this and that and that. So that's, that's not an excuse. It goes the other way, you know, when I, people might be thinking, oh, it's, oh it, you know, it always has the mana tithe or always has the counter spell, so. It's all good. It all balances itself out in the end. So I would like to play first for sure. Ah, uh, I'll keep hoping to dodge a wild Nakado here. That's what I want to dodge. I'm going to start with this and grab the Surveil Lad. Uh, or should I Lorien cycle? Nah, I have enough lands for now. I don't necessarily need to do that. Alright, so Surveil Land it is. What, uh, meticulous Archive it is. Uh, dig through time. I'm gonna take it, even though I'm not gonna be playing it soon, but I don't wanna lose it. And I have enough lands, and I and I have two, you know, the next two turns kind of covered. So now I might just Lorien at when, yeah. Didn't play anything, so I'm gonna lorry in here into a. Do I want the Mystic Sanctuary? No, it's not active yet. So let's just grab a an island. And pass the turn. Do 
two cards in graveyard, so I'm still far off from dig through time. This is end of turn, right? Perfect. This is a great mana type target. Which now leaves me still with counter magic up. Nakado. Do I allow the Nakado here? Or do I want to get blown out by some, again, counter magic and this or that? Yeah, I think I'm just going to still counter it, even though I'm. if the opponent has the counter magic, I have to draw it out of the opponent's hand here. Yeah, okay. So at least it's only a wild Nakado and not a... Not a um, Kabu. Counter that. Take a hit. I'm gonna take a hit. Another Nakado. Am I hoping for... No, I'm still gonna kill it. Uh, not really what I wanted. Alright. I'm gonna play it because I want to keep hitting land drops. Now I, I have a no more lies. And the dig through time. And the dig through time is gonna have to find me something good. But dig through time is usually the card that... If you're able to play it, your chances... Increase quite a, quite a bit. Because you basic... Okay, the opponent didn't do this first. Alright, let's take the damage. A shaman. All right. A brawler. Yep, the opponent can just pay one mana to add a counter here. Yep. Alright, I have six cards in the graveyard. Do I, do I need anything in there left? Do I want to leave anything in the graveyard? Um, should I just pay, pay... No, I don't. If the opponent has stubborn denial by any chance, I don't want to get blown out. So let's pay one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. An Archmage Charm. And a counter spell? Can I play both? I cannot. So let's take the deluge. Let's steal it. <laughs> Those two maps actually now are my. I, I'm using them in the end. Countering this, the opponent will be able to play a um, Nishoba Brawler. No! 
Oh god, no, what? Ah, what a mistake. That's terrible. Um, do I have 8 mana, 2, 4, 6, 7? No, I don't. Alright. Um, no attacks past the turn. Ah, how did I not see that? Alright. Let's see. Let's do this first. I'm just holding on by the thread here, really, I think. One's gonna play the brawler. Take this, put on top the dig through time, right? I'm going to dig now. Remove everything so that the ch opponent, opposing shaman doesn't have anything to do. Supreme Verdict is good. And an Archmage's Charm, can I play it? I can. Or just the Epic Gust. What a battle. What a battle. Yep. Play the Kabu. Attacking first. Alright. Yep, sure. I'll block with this. Take one. Keep on. Hopefully we'll play the Kabu now. No. Alright, let's play this. I will exile to gain some life as well. Okay, okay. okay. Using my Emperor. This is what you get for hurting my people. Alright, gonna pass. I have the castle and three mana. So I can charm and castle. Another little thing to be aware of that when you hover over your cards, the opponent sees that. So don't hover over anything, really. Now I think I'm good. Should I just draw two? No. <laughs> Not with Bowmasters on the battlefield. So my turn. Draw a card. Play this. And then have two counters up. Whereas this no more lies is gonna be only situational. 
but the charm. And Oko, cool. perfect. This is a perfect target for this. I will not use this to draw. The chance of just Bowmaster or. Yeah, it's just too high, and then I, if I don't draw into a counter spell, I'll be counterless. So I'm just gonna make start making humans here. Should I attack with this? I need. That's seven mana, two, four, five, six, and I'll be left over. I'll have three left. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna keep the human back just in case the opponent has breakout. Binding, sure. I'm okay with that. Hey, Ragavan, is this dashed or not dashed? I never can tell. That's un like, how do you know if this is dashed or not? Okay, the opponent uh, played the ley line for one. Okay, I think it's dashed, right? I'm just gonna counter it now be safe. And now attack for seven. All right, so that was a tight one, but on to game three now. So I do want the tides back now. <clears throat> I don't okay I'm gonna I can go down on a charm probably on one Teferi and the revelation I think I, th I might um, remove the revelation from the deck as well because it's just yeah you need like five mana for it to be useful So the times I've had it, I wasn't really able to play it. It's only really, the life gain is most relevant against burn, but I think burn is already an, should be an okay matchup. So... Yeah, might try something else. But now the opponent's going to be on the play, so it's going to be tougher. I do need some decent lands, like white, blue, available, turn one. And then hopefully a mana tithe.
Okay, the opponent's taking some time to sideboard here. Let's go, the decis decisive game number three. Ah, uh, I'll keep it. Oh, just hoping for the opponent to not play on the card on turn one. That's the most important thing here. But if the opponent fetches immediately, that indicates most likely an Akado. Oh no, yeah, of course, yeah, the opponent runs shamans too. Alright. Um, yeah, this is gonna make my tithe useless as well unless the opponent plays a turn to Oko okay, glad I drew the swords next I do, do need to draw a land one emperor too many here is fetching, which could indicate a... Oh, okay, it's a fetch land. Ah, and an Akado, damn it. All right. I'm gonna have to live with this Shaman for quite some time, but let's get rid of this Nakado here. Keep up counter magic. And I do need a land urgently. Dashing Aragavan. I'm gonna try to Aether Gust that. Gonna go for a hollowed fountain here. Pretty lucky the opponent wasn't able to play another creature here, and this was a good as this was good as well. So now I have no more lies and mana tithe, but I think mana tithe has already lost its value here. So the opponent dashing this again. Let's um Let's fetch an island first. Why? Because if I don't do that, I will need to fetch another Holland Fountain, which I don't really want to do. Oh, that veil is gonna. Ah, oh, that veil is so backbreaking. And this shaman is making it all happen. Uh, is making it possible. I mean, I, I expected a Veil or um, Stubborn Denial, but I, I, I couldn't really play around it, I think, so... Pretty unfortunate here now. Alright, at least it's only two small creatures. I'm already at 11, so I what do I need? I need a land. I still need a land here. Land is going to be super important. What did the... Uh, but the opponent actually milled... Exile the land. 
Okay, that's at least back to hand. That's at least something. But this tithe is now rotting in my hand, unfortunately. I... So with mana tithe, like, that's the thing. You want to just use it whenever you can. Just to keep tempo kind of up. Don't, like, wait for something, you know, the best thing to counter. Just, ah, oh, that's terrible. Um, that was a terrible draw. Do I really need to Teferi here? I think I do. I have to Teferi. Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry, I got this. And no land still. Wow. This is turning out to be difficult. The opponent's gonna dash again. Oh, even worse, Bow Masters. So I need to draw like a land and a Supreme Verdict to somehow get back in this game. Okay, good news is the opponent played this on their turn. Alright, still gonna dash the Ragavan. So it's gonna be another hit. Another exile. A sword. Okay, that's pretty good. At least the opponent can't make use of that. And there's the land. Alright. Go. Alright, Emperor, it's up to you. Do I want to put something on top of my library? Like a swords, for example. I'm gonna be... No. I'm gonna be emperoring the next few turns, most likely. Finally, should I just create... I'm gonna create a samurai here. Or should I... No, I'm gonna... Samurai? Yeah, let's create a samurai. We must protect the people. And get rid of that annoying Ragavan. Alright, alright, alright. Is the okay the land's gonna take the Emperor, that's good. That's good news. It's good news. That Oko is terrible news. What am I gonna do against that? The fool. The fool who is there. Surely you must be famished. <sighs> oh dear. Much during my travels. Alright, kill Let that. Alright, another ley line. Our swords will cross again. I am almost sad to see you go. Okay. That Oko is still gonna be a huge problem. It's already seven now. Yeah. One bite, and all your cares are gone. What else do you have in your hand, opponent?
Should I just create another samurai here? I think so. I think I need this, yes, yeah. Training for this. May your blade strike true. And then I need the Archmage Charm to steal something, maybe? Steal the 3-3 three, three Elk? Let's broaden your existence. That shaman is gonna kill me if I don't do anything about that, so maybe I just have to steal that. <clears throat> Alright. I'm gonna have to worry about that next turn. A Kabu. I can tithe it. No, I can't. Oopsies. Well, I, this type is just gone anyway. It's been in my hand for the... Now what do I need? Now what do I need? There's the get lost. To take care of this thing at least. Fine. Remain Unfortunately fine. now the opponent has those... So I'm just gonna be chump blocking here. And hoping for a supreme verdict. I'm not going to use this Lorien for anything. So let's just grab a Sanctuary, play that. And grab myself an Archmage's Charm to finally steal the Shaman. But the Shaman's going to get two triggers off. So I think I'm dead no matter what. Yeah, the opponent can just tri tri yeah, shaman me twice. This is now no longer useful. Yeah, and now the opponent just needs to Giving that some stuff. Okay, okay. There's a brawler. And the opponent has two cards in hand too, which could be a like <laughs> lightning ball, anything. I'm at one. So everything kills me. Exiling what? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I have to block both, of course. So let's do it like this. And that's then now finally game. Yep. Just a shaman trigger and we're good done here. Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, I had too many emperor. I don't know too many emperors early and I don't know how I wasn't able to yeah the opponent due to the shaman on turn one my that kind of negated my mana tithe which was kind of crucial I would say so this shaman on turn one basically um, kind of I think won the game on its own because it just yeah I wasn't able to counter it and then it just, I mean, how much damage did it do in, in on itself? It exiled quite a few cards, draining, keeping up mana available in order to pay for like mana tithe and no more lies. So yeah, an early shaman is definitely difficult to deal with. But anyway, let's see how the next games go. <laughs> Azorius Control versus Ty Duncanson. Thank you, Duncan Son. I shall like to play first. I shall mulligan this 
And this one I shall be. I hope I find lands with this brainstorm. So I changed a little bit in the deck. Um, usually I don't do that in between videos, but because this deck is my own creation, I am kind of trying to be... Yeah, I'd like to make changes when I feel like they're needed. So I took up took out the mana tithes um, and instead I have now some spell peers and all the full four brainstorms instead of two I took out the um, uh, Sphinx's revelation and put in an additional Teferi type traveler but you can see the deck list on my untapped and also the changes that were made all right so let's see I'm gonna put these two back in that order order i won't be able to shuffle away anything anyway but at least i have a few lands now <clears throat> i have to play this now and go okay one's attacking with that this could be a bowmaster Oh, or a chalice for one. Okay, do I care about a chalice for one? Swords, um, eh, quite a lot of things. So let's just, let's capture that. Okay. And pass. Now I don't have any counter magic left. Oh, there's a peacekeeper. Um, should I get lost in response? Choose a card name, cost two more. Teferi or this or that. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see what the opponent picks. Definitely a good card, the Peacekeeper. The opponent chose the supreme verdict, so I'm gonna get lost. Should I get lost? That yeah, I need to. I need to use. I can't just keep my mana unspent every single turn. This means that the giver of rooms could grow potentially, but we'll see. Um, I can bounce it too now. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Might be a bad idea. Just to get deeper into the deck. <laughs> Just after I put in Spell Pierce into my deck, I'm playing against a full creature deck, so I don't know. My luck is is not there, not fully there. All right, an Emperor is nice, but I can't do it. Can't use, can't play it. Let's kill this. Just kind of keep my Teferi safe. There was nothing. How many cards? Five. Okay, I can dig through time soon, which is important. Alright, let's get, get a land first. Oh, damn it! No, I can't believe I had the mind sensor. I've got it! Alright, yeah, I'm not used to playing against that card, even though I actually was gonna build a deck which uh, which has this card. Alright. Oh, Thalia as well. Alright, so Teferi did in, doing a decent job again. I think I'm gonna include more Teferis. Um, It, because really the, seen that the second you use the minus ability, it just re you know it replaces itself. It's not you know it's card di no card disadvantage. All right, this dig through time really needs to find something. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Um, no, let's keep the counter spell there. Nah, let's keep the the get lost there. So I need a land. Definitely need a land. And it has to be an untapped one, so it's the sanctuary. And then maybe just a swords. A swords? Yeah, a swords. Let's put get lost on top. Yeah, just kill everything. Kill everything I see. This can't be countered, so no. Alright. Alright, so it's three cards versus four. This is useless. Now it's three. Alright, Talia's fine. I have get lost to deal with it. Or swords. Chalice four, two. Does this kill artifacts? No, it uh, yeah, it doesn't. Um, Alright, so killing Thalia, which means I can actually also play this. Oh, wait. Oh my god, what am I doing? Did he play it for four? Uh, okay, alright. I'm just blanking out here. Damn you, Chalice. Kill you like this. So I can I now I can play everything. Actually, there is a card which I can spell pierce theoretically. Chalice for now for wait 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 wait. All right, so that's gonna counter itself. So the opponent also threw away a card here, and that too. No wait. Ah, cavern. Wow, that's okay. quite the interaction. Alright, now I'm just all emperors. Yep, and then attack most likely. I'm not overconfident. You're just underway. This is what you get for hurting my people. Alright. Fix out that. That's that. Another one coming up. Does that fly? Yeah, it doesn't it. fly, so I can that's even do this. Off. Might be the wrong choice because the opponent Keep might be able to swords or something, but I still have 14 life, so I'm not in any. Okay. Wow. We must protect the people. Swords will cross again. I am the Emperor of right, I can Kill this and too. I will protect my people. You are not much Get of a four a four play land plus. And start You've to get in the there. edge in this fight. Hopefully this can, this emperor can now take the game home. There's an archer, all right. Brainstorm is can't be countered either. Strike fast and strike hard. Attack for eight. 
There's some bowmasters. In response, I will brainstorm. Um, no more lies. Doesn't do anything. All right, let's put these spell pierces back. It's on. All right, now I can start making humans as well. All right, so despite yeah, I did I did wait make that one mistake with the chalice, but apart from that, I think this was a clean win. Now the problem is now that I added spell pierce instead of the um, mana tithe, is that <laughs> if the opponent is running a full on creature deck, I have nothing to sideboard. Like, the opponent doesn't even use any graveyard stuff, so... What to sideboard in or out? Nothing, right? So let's keep the spell pierce just in case for the chalice. And... The opponent has all these cavern of souls, which make my counter magic look pretty bad too. So I'm relying very heavily on get lost, swords to plowshares... Supreme Verdict and the Emperor. So that's something to consider here. Ah, keep it. All right, there we go. Starting off. Pretty unpleasantly. Oh my god. The perfect start for the opponent. I don't have swords. This costs three. And then the opponent will draw. So these two are just gonna hit me for quite some time. get the surveil land here so that I get a trigger don't want that I already have one okay the bowmasters as well. Yeah. Now I need the land, supreme verdict. I need so many things. Let's just kill this. The opponent will draw. There's nothing I can do about it. But at least my spells will have normal prices again. Normal costs. Normal mana costs. Oh yeah. Making that more... Have more power is even worse. And another... <laughs> Alright. Um, what? Yeah. I need Supreme Verdict, basically, but now I need to pay f extra for it, so again, I won't be able to play it. So that's the price. If the opponent plays a full-on creature deck, spell appears not very much. Uh, I'm at two, there's no outs. Yeah, this is now... Um, even if I had Supreme Verdict, which I can't play even, so, yeah. Alright, let's go straight to the next game. Play first, and keep.
If the opponent pl uh. That stupid sentinel really. I'm gonna pay. No, I'm gonna wait until next turn. Alright, now, now I know what's up, so let's kill this, pay an extra, right, so that's gone, and then this can give itself a counter, not attack yet, and then now I'm good, except that I'm one mana short, but... <sighs> this is so painful uncountable right yeah human all right but whatever it takes i can get i'm i'm going to use either get lost or swords to get rid of it so sure going to take some damage here and get lost this That was a good draw. And pass the turn. I hope the opponent has some non-human creatures because that Cavern of Souls is just negating my counter magic. And now there's a wizard too. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna do it now. I don't. I'm at 12. I don't want to go too much lower. <sighs> no. Okay, that's quite nice. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm right, gonna bounce get. that. I'll protect you. Okay, actually, ah, damn it! Now the oh, now I have this chance to play the spell pierce, and the opponent has to. All right. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Well, maybe the opponent plays a challenge or something. No. All right, a land is good, and pass. Bird, wizard, okay, wizard, uncounterable. All right. <sighs> yep. Another sense, mind sense here, all right. Should I just do it now? Keep up the Emperor. Let's keep up the Emperor. Or should I just Teferi and Minus? Or draw and untap? But draw and untap isn't doing me much good. Let's keep up the Emperor. I'm gonna... Should I take the damage? No. Run away. You'll be safer. You're done. All right, Thalia is actually not too crazy at the moment. Um. Probably just gonna create a 1-1 one, one here and then I guess that's it then. And do Let this. your blade do the talking. Hoping to draw land. Another emperor is fine. I'm gonna keep it on top. Now this is big enough to deal with that. The sensor, okay, I'm fine with that. 
Um, yeah, let's do it again, just to make it a 4-4. And pass. Alright, yeah, that's coming down, that's fine, I'm at 11. I still have a little bit of life to play with. I can brainstorm now. I have Supreme Verdict. Just need to take care of that. End of turn, I'll brainstorm. If the opponent Bowmaster's here, then I'm... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna Supreme Verdict then. I'm gonna take a lot of... D oh, that's... I hope the opponent takes it all out of that. So what I'm gonna put back... The spell pierce and this, and I'll draw the fountain. Okay. Ah, now the opponent's aiming at me. Yep. Alright, so let's do this now. Alright, so now Thalia is fine. Yeah, I'm gonna just Emperor. Or Deluge then. That's Deluge. Deluge. Take a land. Nah, take the charm. And the time traveler. Draw, stall. There's a swords, so that's good. So if the opponent plays it again next turn, I can swords it away. this now. Right, the Bowmaster will kill that. It's fine. According to plan. Um I have two get losts now. And an Emperor. Create a one, a two, two. Keep watch for intruders. And then now it ha I start attacking. It has vigilance. We've got the edge in this fight. Um, should I play this and untap? I don't know. I always feel like the opponent's just gonna flash something in, and I need. I'm just gonna, yeah, play it safe and keep up get lost. Okay. Um, I can now finally I can counter something. Core spirit. I can counter that too, right? Wait. Yeah. He 
keep growing the samurai I've got attack. Moves to teach you. Um, should I do this now? I'll have three mana available. No, I'm still not really comfortable doing that. I'll get lost this, I'll get lost the Boromir and bounce the token. Okay, now the opponent will actually not get the uh, maps for that. Ghost quarter, okay, that's fine. And of turn I can brainstorm, then I can play Teferi, bounce that thing. The apparition I can counter it. So I think, yeah, this game is pretty much locked down. End of turn brainstorm. Put back this and this. Shuffle away the spell piers. Just get an island or actually get a sanctuary. Get back swords. Keep throwing this attack. Show them how we greet our enemies. Take this. Just bounce this. Ah, I should have brainstormed in response. Ah, oh, damn it! Now I'm not. Now I don't have two blue. That means the Skyclave apparition can get rid of one of my planeswalkers. But well, that's just how it is. Getting rid of that. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, damn it! And now I shuffled away the. I'm never done. The swords. So yeah, that wasn't the best of my plays. Another one. I will draw this now. No time for a break. I can play it for free because I'll be untapping two lands. Now we should be pretty good. Alright, so um, going 2 2 with the deck. Um, I think that adding Spell Pierce probably has more value than the Mana Tithe. The Mana Tithe, I love the card, but I feel like more often than not it just becomes a dead card. If you're unable to use it early and then there's like shaman or all these cards which un make you unable to use it early plus no more lies similar so no more lies i'm reducing it to two spell pierce uh i could make it three instead of the full four might probably make sense and then add like an additional teferi the Emperor's Force, that's definitely good. That card usually, you know, it's life gain. 
Um, maybe adding then the Sphinx's revelation again. Revelation. But yeah, you'll see in my next video with the uh, Azorius control deck what further changes I have made. That's the version I'm currently running with. Um, but yeah, basically this is the deck. And I mean that there's always minor changes which you can see on untapped GG. Depending on what I feel like the meta what I feel the meta is like. But this is the core of it. Um yeah, it's definitely still I feel like it's a strong deck that can have go toe to toe to do all of against all the decks in the meta. Having swords and get lost is like yeah definitely a good combination against all most threats the only thing it doesn't take care of the get lost is artifacts but generally yeah but planeswalkers that's super important to be able to take care of planeswalkers counter magic spell pierce takes care of like this the crazy combo stuff uh you know nature um and it's always a one mana counter spell that you can slip in if the opponent starts running like Thoughtseize or um, their own spell peers or Veil of Summer. It's important that with when you have three mana available to be able to um, to counter and have spell pierce as well to kind of protect your counter. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, have fun, see you in the arena, peace out.